and out. sort of night by the way this would be a really good set shot goal if he manages to achieve it he has how good everyone knows it's butters that's me burn giant's little handball off comes to butters shakes the tackle from bergman drew able to pick it up and got under it everyone knows it's butters that's me oliver Butters, beautiful flicking handball. Butters. Everyone knows it's Butters. That's me. See beautifully. That's a touch ball. Oh, wow. How good is that? Does it get there? Yes, it does. Who's the boy that can laugh in a storm? How to turn a frown into a smile for free? Oh, no. Who's the kid with the heart of magic? Batting his eyes at every pop he sees. Look inside yourself, you might be surprised when you find a little... Butters! Well, that's, that's me. Yeah. Haywood picks it up. Hand passes it back. Desperate, desperate times. Players throw themselves everywhere. Greenwood, umpire. Well, let's see if they now stay one on one or whether they do just fold back with less than a minute to go. Yeah. It looks it's like they're still pretty much 1v1 all over the ground. It looks like there might be a blood rule. They're just checking. Free kick, okay. Hey, you have to do a free kick for an interchange brief, and it's a 50 metre penalty, okay? Paying let's a free kick. Back. Paying a free kick and a 50 metre penalty. <laughs> To McLean. Extraordinary scenes. Extraordinary scenes under the roof. Kangaroos fans spitting chips. And the Swans players are saying, take your time. From directly in front, McLean gives the Swans the lead. Spills out the back. Across the line it goes. The Swans break a four-game losing streak. They break the hearts of the Kangaroos. It'll be talked about, it'll be analysed, it'll be discussed, but the Swans get the job done. I live in a constant state of fear and misery. Do you miss me anymore? Now, 72% of people on the website reckon the Bulldogs are going to get up, but I disagree. I think it's going to be Adelaide coming home with the Chockeys. <laughs> The siren sounds, and the dogs make it seven of the last eight, and they continue to emerge as a threat to those above. They're rising up the ladder. They have beaten the Adelaide Crows, who are one of the boom teams so far this year by 45 points.
Ashcroft still a teenager. McCluggage back to Ashcroft who launches from 50. Unrelenting, ruthless and methodical. And they're in seventh heaven, these Brisbane Lions. Seven consecutive wins on top of the ladder halfway through round 10. The 19th edition of Dream Time at the G on the land. Flying was Charlie Cameron at the back. Here's a chance for Bailey. Wants to wheel around on his right. In two minds. Cuts through. And he slices it through to Zach Bailey. Get that cat out of the way. The Tigers are eliminated. Brisbane go through with an epic elimination final. Inside your mom's, yeah! I nutted inside your mom's. Oh, it sounds like Richmond just won. Time to play this song. My cock is pumping inside of her. Moan, baby, moan, baby, louder and louder. Whoops, I did it again. She come to the bed. I'm definitely getting fine this time. Have a look at this fucking shit, you fucking tiger shit cunt. Three goals up fucking front, you fucking lost in the last fucking dying second, you fucking cunt. How can you fucking lose? How can you lose to the fucking bombers of shit? You fucking cocks. It's all over. Fuck you, Richmond. I'm gonna burn me, you fucking jumper cunt. The opportunity is there for both these teams, just one win each. And at the bottom of the AFL ladder, but a chance for a big W this afternoon. It's a 31 point advantage to the Hawks in this bottom of the ladder clash. It's a 31 point gap in Sunny Launceston at quarter time. Hey, Tony and me. Huh? Ah! What is going on here? Oh! Can we shut the f*** up here? Yeah? And this Collingwood train rumbles on. The skipper has played one hell of a game of football. The players don't care. They don't give a rat's backside. They don't want to chase. They don't want to play. You have Ashley Hanson before the game saying that no one in the club listens to outside noise. Maybe you should. Maybe you should. Maybe the coaching panel, the players, the board must listen to us members. We've got 88,000, almost 90,000 members. You want us to sign up next year? Bloody show us something. Show us the heart. Last year we gave you the excuse we had an injury to play at midfield and we just missed out. We thought this year we go again. What's the excuse? If you're not going to play, I said it a few weeks ago, if you're not going to play for the coach, play for people like myself. We bust with balls every week to get there. Hard earned money. And you dish that up against Collingwood. They toyed with us. It's an embarrassment for the navy blue and white, especially the emblem. The emblem. Play for that. If you're not going to play for it, piss up out my club. Get out. Good hands from Webster there. He was under some heat in his return game. Third game of the year for Jimmy. And 50. I think the umpire was saying Brent back two metres. 
It wasn't a Brent on the mark. So if he's called the wrong player, of course the player's not going to respond to him because he's... There's been some controversy. Hasn't there? This round, this year. <laughs> Who the devil are you? Oh, mate. Step down! What? What are you talking Dempton. about? Don't Dempton. clearly Dempton. make sense, man! Shut up! I can't understand a word you're oh, saying! Oh, mate! Step down! My name is Oh, mate! Step down! A big shout out to Sharks Ray and Big Mac John, our tier 3 channel members. And I've got everybody else on screen as well, the tier 1 and tier 2. And if you want me to read your name out on screen, make sure you get around the tier 3 channel membership option. Uh, just hit the join button next to my channel name. The link's in the bio as well. Ciao.